We have almost 5,000 cases of child abuse reported each year in Buncombe County alone, which means that there's 13 cases right now that are being called in today. I think abuse is something that people just don't want to talk about um, because they don't want to know that it occurs in their community, but in Buncombe County it occurs through all communities, all education levels, all racial demographics. The indicators of child abuse sometimes are not as obvious. It might be a child who's sleeping in school, a child who's used to be outgoing who now is uh, less outgoing or kind of closed up. It may be a child who acts very hungry at school because they're not getting enough food at home. We also have head trauma, broken bones, children that are sick and are medically not taken care of at the level they need to, not getting to the doctor. There might be a mark or there might be a bruise or there could be even an injury and the reality is those things heal much more quickly than the emotional piece. And one of the things we constantly deal with in uh, child protection is trauma. We know that abuse and neglect causes trauma. We know that sometimes when, when we have to remove kids from bad situations that can also cause trauma. There have been studies that have shown that having adverse childhood events or traumatic events that happen to you when you're a child significantly increase your risk of all types of chronic disease. Obesity, lung disease, lung cancers, all different types of cancers, um, suicide, depression, all types of different mental health issues. When children are in the first, those first couple years, those first five years, their brain is developing like crazy. And the more that child is in a, an environment of, of kind of fear and uncertainty that affects the development of their brain. Children under six actually make up over half of the reports um, that are called into DSS. And unfortunately, children under six actually make up almost 86% of children who die from child abuse or child maltreatment. These are children who a lot of them can't talk, they can't communicate with us in regards to what's happening to them um, at home or elsewhere. They aren't in daycare, they're not in school, there's no one else who is looking at this child or keeping an eye on them to make sure they're safe. I feel like a lot of people don't want to get involved or they don't have all of the information so they're fearful of making a report because they don't want to make a report when it's something that can simply be explained. Allow the department to look into that. You would rather be safe than sorry. We're already seeing the impact of, of children that have been abused and neglected now by the increase of numbers in our prison, by our unemployment rate. We need healthy leaders and it's our children that are going to make the difference. And they are relying on us to keep them safe so that they can become the leaders, the community members, the parents that they're going to become one day.